Welcome to an area of Portugal not a lot of people visit. This region is filled with the most adorable villages, scenic tribes, and some of the country's most beautiful landscapes. This is without a doubt one of Portugal's best kept secrets. We just popped into Peneda Jerez National Park. This is Portugal's only national park. It sits on like the northern border with Spain, about 75 miles northeast of Porto. And our first impressions of this place are that it's absolutely incredible. It's nothing like the national parks in the US. There's literally zero other people here right now. And before we start checking out some of the towns in the area, we wanted to stop by two kind of like sites close to our home. So this was like a 15 minute drive from our Airbnb. And the first stop is a mountain swing. You're on top of the world. Look at these views. This is amazing. Woo! And a blanket acrobat. Wow. Do you get that? I used to work in a circus. How about this? Her dedication to her craft. <laughs> <laughs> the GoPro in the mouth. <laughs> Tell them. Show them. Down below us are a local species of cattle with beautiful like long horns. Super cool. Just grazing next to wild horses. I don't think there will be any polar plunges today. This is icy, icy water. And fall has hit Portugal. It's like 65 degrees this morning. So I don't think I'll be jumping in. Maybe tomorrow, it's supposed to be warmer. We'll visit some other lagoons. Not me. But not here, and not Aymara. We made it to this perfect little traditional Portuguese restaurant. It came very highly reviewed. I'm glad that we could end up here because it's only open for like two and a half hours today. So we made it just in time. And we got this delicious platter of pork sausage and pork chop with french fries and rice. Also got some vegetables, which is good. We need some vegetables. But these like meat platters and also like steak are very typical to northern Portugal. Let's see what it's like. I'm gonna start with the sausage. Mm. Very good. A little bit spicy, smoky. Mm. The food in northern Portugal, very hearty, but very, very delicious. Good job. siesta. <laughs> This is so pretty. We made it to the town of Sistelos and today has been so nice. We've just been driving around the whole day, enjoying the beautiful views. I didn't really exist in Portugal. Look at this. Do you feel like you're in Tibet? <laughs> That's what our host said. Uh, this area is called the Portuguese Tibet. I have no idea how Tibet looks like, but this is so beautiful. We had no idea this place existed yesterday, and we're in this mirador called, I'm gonna read it, Mirador dos Socalcos. And I think this is how these terraces are called, Socalcos in Portuguese. And they're just for, for crops, right? Like to. Yeah, to increase the agricultural space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's very, very pretty. It's so peaceful here. The air is like pure and fresh and it's just, it's been a really, really nice day. Mm -hmm. 
So this is our awesome little stay in a little village outside Pineda Jerez National Park. Like Aymara said, it's a traditional home where the animals used to stay down here and the people lived upstairs. Now it's reversed. Well, there's no animals, but we live downstairs <laughs> and the kitchen is upstairs. It's really cool. You see these like all like massive bricks built in the traditional style. You come up this way, I'll show you around. This is our neighborhood dog. We call him <laughs> Nippy because he just likes to nip. He's very friendly, but he just bites all the time. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hey, don't lick the camera. No. <laughs> Watch your head on the way in. So this is our very cozy living room, kitchen, breakfast area. It's very cool to stay here. We have these like huge like stone walls that are very traditional. It gets a little chilly at night, so it's a good thing we have like two heaters to warm up the place. But it's very nice to stay here. Cozy mountain house. That's where we had breakfast. And downstairs is where we sleep with the animals. Come on into the bedroom area. Right here we have the toilet. It's separate from the shower. It's kind of Dutch style, which I actually appreciate. And we have this very comfortable bed. We had the heat going last night. It was very, very comfortable. We slept like babies. We also had this like nice window that when you hear the sheep walking by and their bells like jingling, you can just open up, watch the sheep walk by. Very cozy little house. But now it's time to jump back in the car. Unfortunately, we have to leave this place after two nights. We wish we could have stayed longer, but it's time to check out the Sete Lagos. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Tell us. We have a bit of a situation. So on Google Maps, it showed that I could keep going towards the Seven Lagoon and we could keep driving for like another 20 minutes and get right there. But we were trying to cross a bridge, but there was a sign that said like residents only and we couldn't like pass through the village. It was prohibited. So I asked a lady, I was like, can we drive there? She said, no, no. And then I asked, how long is the hike? She said like an hour and a half in which most days that wouldn't be a problem. But today we also have to go to Duoro Valley, which is another like two and a half hour drive. So we can't make that happen today. So we'll have to show you a photo of Sete Lagos. But I think I have a plan B. There's a waterfall somewhat nearby, and I think the hike is a little bit less. But it kind of stinks. Yeah. Damn. I'll have to come back to northern Portugal. Shoot. So we were driving and all of a sudden we see this beautiful river and it's almost lunchtime so we had to stop. Just look at this place. This is crazy, we had no idea this existed and we just looked it up and it's called the Gavalo River and it's stunning. Gordon says that it feels like being in the Carolinas, but I've never been in the Carolinas, so I don't know. It's just a beautiful lake with mountains and activities, it seems. Beautiful bridges. Very, very nice. I love this place for lunch. I think we are giving up on this mission. We arrived to where the waterfall is supposed to be and Google Maps said it was like a one minute walk. We have been walking for 20 minutes and we see no signs of water around us. So I think we're gonna give up. We are so, so sorry. We really wanted to show you more of this beautiful area that is completely worth it, but you guys have to give yourself some time. Don't make the mistake that we made. And yeah, we decided to leave this in the video too because you guys have to see that sometimes Things don't work out. We really wanted to show you this, but it didn't work out, but it's still so, so beautiful. It is a perfect day and we do need to stretch the legs before the drive to Duero Valley, which is what we're going to show you in the next video. That's Portugal's famous wine region and we're going to be there for a couple of nights. We'll show you all of that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we will see you next time. Bye.